Angela with the Aspiring Boss. Welcome back to my channel. As you saw in the title, I'm switching it up a little bit today. I'm doing something I haven't done before. I'm going to be doing a law school story time. Like y'all know law school is, is just crazy. It's a whole different experience. And after going for three years, y'all know I got a lot of stories. So I thought I, want, I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to do something different for the channel in honor of just a couple things that are going on with me. I just wanted to switch it up and keep it a little bit spicy for y'all. So the first thing is, it is my birthday. Now I'm filming this on Friday. My birthday is actually on Sunday. Um, but yeah, it's, when you're watching this, it's gonna be my birthday. So show your girl a little bit of birthday love. It is my 29th birthday. Yes, I am a Virgo in every sense of the word. Virgo and proud, honey. I'm really excited, just feel really blessed and really content with where my life is now. And I'm very excited about my future. So yes, I wanted to do something special and different in honor of my birthday. And that's right, and we hit 1,000 subscribers, you guys. I am so freaking excited, so happy, so thankful. Um, from the bottom of my heart, you guys, thank you so much, you guys. We did it. Like, yes, we. Okay, this is not me because I wouldn't be here without you guys. And y'all, this is just the freaking beginning. So I'm super, super, super thankful, super happy, and just excited for this platform and where it's going and it's growing and it's glowing. And I just am looking forward to being able to connect with you guys a little bit more. I'm waiting on that community tab, you guys. I need to be able to chat with y'all here. But until I get that, follow me on Instagram, DM me, comment. Let's let's get a conversation going because y'all are legit. Y'all some cool people. Like some of y'all be sending me some message. I'm like, I feel her. Like this is my friend, y'all. So yeah, keep doing that, y'all. I love interacting with you guys. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to do something different and special since it's my birthday and we hit 1k so yeah so i done poured me a little bit of wine like i said it is friday evening it ain't even dark yet but i had to pour my wine i signed out to work for the evening and i'm just gonna enjoy the start to my birthday weekend okay so let's get into this video okay so like y'all saw in the title this is all about me crying after my first law school exam <laughs> okay hold on let me take a sip okay I'm gonna just put that right there because y'all know me. If you watch my videos, y'all know I like to talk with my hands, okay? Okay, so picture this. 1L year, it's my 1L year, it's my first semester. I've never taken a law school exam before. If you've never been to law school, you guys might not know, but in many law school classes, you only have one exam. You only have one grade, okay? That one grade is your grade for the entire semester, okay? And so that is how my law school was, especially like all of my first year classes were just one exam, that was your grade. So y'all know the pressure was on, like the pressure was on. It was, I'd never taken a law school exam before. This was, my, I, this was my first law school exam. I was a 1L. And then you mean to tell me that this is my only grade for the whole semester? So this, like, I only get one shot? So I was super, super, super nervous, okay? So I had a little system in law school with my studying. But mind you guys, this is my first semester. So I came up with the system 1L, but I didn't know if that that system worked yet, right? You don't know if the system works until you get your grades back and then you say, oh, that worked, so let me do it again. So this was a system I came up with, but I didn't know how good it was, okay? Turns out it was good, but I didn't know how good it was. So I had a system in law school. Um, I had a roommate who was also my study partner. If you can find you one, get you one because y'all, if you have somebody that's on the same page as you, it really just helps you stay motivated and accountable. But anyways, like I was saying, so we had this whole system where we would study at least one month out from finals where we literally turned up the heat, okay? You guys, we didn't do nothing but study. We stayed at the library every day. We studied during breaks. We studied before class, lunchtime, 
all weekend and we stayed at the library until the library closed we were not playing okay and so the way we did it was first exam like we actually had to take would be the last exam we studied for that way you're able to study for that class right before the exam right because they go you know it's just like college they go you know you have first exam then maybe a couple days later or next week whatever you have another exam so my first exam was criminal law right so you guys let me just back up and tell you guys about my criminal law class and my cr criminal law professor okay so criminal law is one of those things that are a little bit more intuitive than other classes in law school just because you have exposure to it right you get on you turn on tv they talk about criminal law you turn on the news somebody committing crime you committing crimes so i'm just kidding people you know committing crimes but criminal law is a little bit more intuitive right so you know i've heard of battery assault murder whatever however the laws change based on like the states you're in. And so a lot of law professors will teach you based on the model penal code, right? Um, this is like just more, I'd say modern criminal law. But back in the day, there was something called common law. Y'all know what common law, yeah, you probably heard it in marriage, common law, Mary, you know, whatever like that. My professor style was to base our class on common law, not the model penal code, not the stuff that everybody else knows and everybody else learns. He, you know, he just had to be different. So it was a little bit less intuitive because it was from back, back, back in the day. You know what I mean? Not what we used to see in, in today's world, you know, in the 2000s. Okay. That was already like, oh, uh, here we go. On top of that, he was super intimidating, you guys. He was older, no shade to the elderly, but he was older and he was like super intimidating. Like you hear those law school horror stories about professors, like that was him. And like later I realized he wasn't even mean, but he was very, very intimidating, y'all. He made the valedictorian cry on the first day. I really think that's why she's the valedictorian because she never wanted to feel that feeling that he made her feel on that first day when she cried. But I digress, sis showed out sis was the valedictorian low-key she got some of them cali awards i was coming for but anyways he was just super intimidating and he would do this thing where he would like take off his glasses and you know wipe them and you ask a question and he asked you a question like he answers the question with the question so y'all this class was just already hard to follow he talked in circles i just was not confident in my studying during this time like again first time first test and I got this difficult teacher. So I try, you know, I'm, it's study time. And I'm like, hey, there's some things that I'm just not sure are sticking. I need to talk to Professor so-and-so. So I go to his office hours. In law school, you can go to your professor's office hours, just like college, and kind of, you know, talk to them about anything that, you know, you're struggling with. Y'all, he was looking at me. I was looking at him. I asked him questions. He bounced back off with a question like, sir, I'm just trying to talk to you through some of these examples that you provided in class so I can make sure I understand so I can do well on the test. Needless to say, going to his office hours were pointless. OK, so fast forward to a couple days before the test. I'm nervous, y'all. Like I'm studying my butt off, memorizing, doing examples, all of that. Not nothing can make me feel confident. Like I'm nervous, like pit in the bottom of my stomach nervous so we get to the exam and i don't know how many of you guys know this but law school exams are like three hours y'all like it's a long exam so you know before the test even starts i'm looking around i'm looking around people everybody looking nervous the gunners looking nervous now if you ain't been in law school yet let me just go ahead and tell you what gunners are okay gunners are those people that from day one i'm talking about day one of class they always got the answer they always talking they always raising their hand they always giving input and they just seem really smart and they have this they they people call them gunners because like they just gun in to answer the question they just gun into you know let the professor know they read but you'll find a lot of times that the gunners aren't even the people who get the best grades like they're just probably just the most extroverted confident people but you don't know that right i didn't know about the gunners yet i was new i didn't know about the gunners yet so i'm like dang gunners looking nervous mm, dang it's not looking too good for me i ain't no gunner i mean i'll talk if the professor asks me to talk but i'm not just looking to speak up Damn comes around and i did my exams on the computer so i pass out the you know the little fact pattern in law school you it's usually some sort of long fact pattern that you have to you know answer questions to or it's a series of questions so they pass out the, the exam y'all 
some of that stuff I ain't never even seen before. I was like, we didn't talk about that. That wasn't on my outline. What am I going to do? You know, obviously I'm in the testing room with a bunch of other students. I'm quiet. Inside y'all, I was screaming, you guys. I was so freaking nervous and I was like, I'm messing this up, okay? So I got my bearings, I got my nerves, you know, got my nerves together and finally, you know, just start, you know, typing and doing what I could. Like that's all you can do on a law school exam, by the way, for you guys who are in law school. All you can do in the bar too. That's all you can do is just get to it. Like sitting there is not going to do anything and things will come to you as you get more comfortable, as those nerves start to, you know, calm down. So I thought. So y'all, I get through this exam, right? Exam's over. Walk outside of the class. What are people doing? Gunner number one, gunner number two. Mind you, I didn't know they were gunners then. I'm thinking they smart. Not that they're not smart, but gunner number one, gunner number two, talking about the test. Talking about what, what they spotted. Like what, what you'll find in law school, in law school exams, you have to issue spot. So you have to find, you know, issues within the exam. So if sometimes you have to choose between whether this is this murder is involuntary manslaughter or first degree murder or something like that. So they talking about the issues they done spotted and what they saw. Y'all, not what I put down on the exam. So I went from being nervous to being sad, okay? To being emotional and scared AF because I knew at that moment, I did not put that. I wasn't even close to that. So I knew I failed. I knew I failed. Y'all, when I tell you, I played it cool, you know, got my bearings. As soon as I got to that car, tears, you got tears, 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 tears. Like, because I heard them say what they put down and I didn't say that. And so I'm like, oh, well, if they both got it, they both gunners, mind you, I didn't know they were gunners then. I just thought they were the smarter people. If they both smart and I didn't get that, I already know what that means for me. So y'all know what I did next, or maybe you don't, maybe y'all don't know me well enough, but what I did next is call my mama. <laughs> That's, I still do that to this day. I'm 29 years old today. Thanks, happy birthday to me. But I'm 29 years old. Let something go wrong. Let me, let me be in a mood where I just, I'm so upset, I'm crying. Calling mom, that is what your girl does. Ain't nothing like a mother's love. But anyways, so I'm calling my mom. She's like, calm down, you've been studying. I know you got this. Y'all, my mom always, she always knows, but I don't be believing her. And then the proof just is in the pudding. And she'd be like, I told you so. But anyway, she's like, you got this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like crying, y'all, crying. And then the worst part about this is I got three more exams to do. I can't even wallow in my failure because I have to go get, get my mindset together, get my confidence together, and go study for the rest of the exam so I don't fail that one like I just think I failed this one. So I get my parents together, y'all. Uh, but I was, you know, it was bad. Like, I really knew I failed that test. Like, no doubt. So when you get your grades back, it's like almost time for school to start again. It's like you get your grades back right before the next semester starts. And we had this little group chat within our section because in law schools you're in sections. So in the first year you you're in a section and you have classes with the same people. All your classes are with the same people. So we had a little group thing where people would say, "Oh, grades are up!" Like, cause you gotta kind of gotta just check to know whether grades are up. And you know, there's some people who are like just super anal and they keep checking. I'm not gonna say no names or nothing, but it may or may not have been me who kept checking. But um at this point i was in dallas with my family so i was trying you know i went to law school in houston i was in dallas with my family for christmas break and i had been you know clicking along just fine you know for like three weeks and then them days before i knew grace was kind of supposed to be coming out that pit came right back y'all i was so nervous i was so nervous to get my grades back you guys especially for that cram law exam because i knew i failed it and it was my first exam and I'll never forget that. I'll never forget. I just knew I failed. I ain't never failed nothing before in my life. But I knew I failed that exam. So, whew. Check the group chat. Somebody says, Crim law grades are in. That pit. I was sick, y'all. Sick to my stomach. The worry about me sick to my stomach. Whew. Okay, I get my computer out. About to log on, log on to see my grades for Krim Law. 
Scared, y'all. Scared. I do my little login. Do my little login. Do my little scrolling. Whew. This kind of, now that I think about it, this kind of was like how I felt with the bar, y'all. And that is nerve-wracking. I'm going to have to tell y'all about the bar. But back to this. I checked my grade. Why did your girl get an A? Y'all. I got an A. I had knew that I failed, you guys. I knew I failed. And I, I got an A in my first exam in law school. Law school? Law school? This girl? Y'all. The amount of joy that I felt in that moment, y'all, I could like I'm I could get emotional about it right now. And you know, I know plenty of people get A's. I know to some people like that is not a big deal. But first of all, grades were really important to me in law school. And second of all, I'm telling you guys, I knew that I felt listening to them dudes, the smart dudes, the gunners, I was like, Yeah, I didn't get none of that. I knew I failed. And so that was it. I mean, really, yeah, that's the story. Like, so really, yes, this is a story time, but you know me. I wouldn't be me if I didn't give a little motivation and advice, right? Here's is my advice to you law school students. This is my advice for any law school exam and any bar exam. Do not, I repeat, do not talk about the exam after you take it with nobody. Don't do it. Don't do it because the way law school exams work is there's tons of possibilities. You can pick up points for so many things. You can literally have one person get an A, another person get an A. Their answers were pretty different and they still got A's because they hit certain things or there were many routes you can go on with the fact pattern. You know, like that's just, it's convoluted y'all. It really is, but that's just the way it is. So after that first semester, I made a vow, well, really, even after that first exam, I'm not talking about my exam with nobody. Like, I just didn't do that. You will find that people like to do that, y'all. They will sit there after the exam and congregate about what they found, what they spotted. My nerves can't take that. Because if you say something that sounds right that I didn't get, it's a wrap for my nerves. It's a wrap for, it's just a wrap, okay? So that is my advice to you guys. Do not talk to people about them exams, okay? Second piece of advice. Believe in yourself believe in yourself y'all because why was I why did I think I failed okay it's one thing not to be like hey I aced that test I got an A but why did I think I failed y'all why I studied my butt off studied my butt off and I really sat up there and convinced myself that I failed and you guys um mindset is a lot mindset you know, people say mindset is everything. I'm not going to say it's everything because you have to put the work in. <laughs> like, you can't just say, that's like saying prayer is everything. Like, no, God, yeah, you can pray to God, but God can want you to put that work in. So mindset is important though, okay? So I need, I need you guys to learn from your girl and just have a positive mindset. Believe in yourself. When you did the work and you put the work in, you know, have peace in that um, because I feel like, you know, I probably just put myself through a lot of stress, unnecessary stress and unnecessary worry during law school. And it took a toll on me. And so just learn from your girl. But yes, you guys, that is my first little law school story time about the time I cried after my first exam because your girl knew that she failed. Now, like I said, I'm just kind of switching up, doing something different, you know, for the channel since we done hit 1K now. We 1K and growing. Let me know how y'all feel about the law school story times because I can do more. I could do summer so she gets story times like I got stories okay I didn't I didn't experience some things in this legal career of mine if you're watching this and you ain't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the family we are growing and glowing y'all over here if you only follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram underscore the aspiring boss let me know in the comments if y'all had some crazy like law school stories so far and stuff like that I know a lot of y'all are just starting law school so I don't know if it hit yet, but let me know. You got cold called yet, like all that stuff. Law school is such an experience, you guys. Um, it's such an experience. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. All right, peace.